Hello, this is Dr. David Bilstrom coming to you from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, living the autoimmune disease lifestyle. Now today we're going to talk about some vitamin D, and we're going to talk about vitamin D and breast cancer, but also keeping with my good friend Peter visiting, the interventional cardiologist from Seattle, we're going to tie in some cardiovascular uh, uh, information too. Now it was a beautiful day on the mountain, I actually have a new snowboard, I want to thank Ride for my beautiful, for making such beautiful snowboards and beautiful bindings. Uh, I had an old snowboard last four years, it was so beat up. Um, the people at Idaho Mountain Trading talked to me into getting a new board and I want to thank them. Last year they almost wouldn't let me take it out of the shop because it was so beat up and I convinced them if I put duct tape in, in, in specific areas of the bindings it would be okay and they were reluctantly said, well, okay. But um, uh, this year they said, no, nah, no, nah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna service that board anymore. So they had one that they thought I'd like, and oh my gosh, it's fantastic. But anyway, so out here in West, we have a lot of sunny days, over 300 sunny days a year. Now, vitamin D is made by sun exposure, but there's a problem where we have a very difficult time as humans producing vitamin D from sun exposure nowadays. So for example, here are the lifeguards in San Diego. They're in San Diego, they're on the beach, they're in bathing suits, they have these great tans. They are still 30 points lower in vitamin D levels than they should be. Now, what's the big deal, 30 points lower? What there are studies that have shown that for every 30 points you bring up your vitamin D level, you cut your ch chances of ever getting cancer in your lifetime by 25%. So it's a big deal. How much do we know about vitamin D? Well, there is a search engine called PubMed that medical people use all the time to search for medical articles. Articles, and If you put in vitamin D as a subject and hit search, you come up with a, over 11,000 different scientific journal articles about vitamin D. Prozac, the medicine used for mood issues, it only had six scientific studies when the FDA approved it for use in human beings. And only two of the six studies actually showed it worked. So we know a lot about vitamin D. Now when it comes to vitamin D and cardiovascular, remember we always talk about how whatever's driving the autoimmune disease is typically driving everything else that people have. So you may be tired, well being tired is not technically an autoimmune disease, but whatever's giving you the autoimmune disease is making you tired. You may not sleep, well insomnia is not technically an autoimmune disease, but whatever's making you have the autoimmune disease is keeping you from sleeping. If you fix what's causing the autoimmune disease, your energy gets better, your sleep gets better. So here, for example, an article that was written about people with rheumatoid arthritis uh, and cardiovascular disease risk, disease risk. And what they saw is the people with rheumatoid arthritis had a lot of inflammation of the intimal layer, the lining of the blood vessels of the heart, and increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Now there's also some articles that say some uh, cardiovascular disease is actually directly related to autoimmune process where the immune system is attacking the intimal layer of these vessels as well. We want to talk about uh, uh, vitamin D levels and preventing breast cancer here today. And the difficulty getting vitamin D from sun exposure puts everybody at risk, and pretty much everybody's going to be low unless they're on vitamin D. So here's a great study that looked at uh, women and vitamin D levels. What they saw, and this is from the journal PLOWS, capital P, capital L, small o, capital S, in 2018, that showed that women who had a vitamin D level above 60 compared to below 20, the women above 60 had an 82% less chance of developing breast cancer in a lifetime. Now, an interesting thing also was a few years before that, there was an article that said if every woman's vitamin D was above 53, there was a 70% less chance of getting breast cancer in a lifetime. So here is 70% less chance of getting breast cancer for vitamin Ds above 54 and an 82% less chance of getting breast cancer if you're above 60. And really the, the level we shoot for is 70 to 80. So here, if every woman knew this, we would have 82% less breast cancer basically in the United States. So uh, one of the last numbers I saw was that 60,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer every year. So if every woman knew this, kept their vitamin D at least above 60, ideally 50,000 less women every year in the United States would be told they had breast cancer. I mean, how impactful is that? Isn't that, that fantastic? And of course, as you've known from my blog post, my website, Dr. David Bilstrom, MD, how important vitamin D is. There's several blog posts about this and several other bits of information about that. So once again, thank you so much. 
Goodbye from Jackson Hole, Wyoming.